That's gross. Let me know in the comments below what video game should be next for Brazer Brazers. Smash Brothers. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> moving on to our next topic titled Bad Fur Day. As you may know, Lester, I'm a part of many forums on the internet and such. Yeah, you join those ones. I join a lot on Facebook, uh, <laughs> Atari Age, Nintendo Age. I, I'm on a lot of forums, let's say. And I, I'm not going to name the specific forums when I bring up topics from those forums because it's kind of like a close-knit community. But I will yeah, exactly. protect the uh, identities of people in those ones. And I won't mention the forum. But I will bring topics that are inspired by those forums. Okay. okay. Bad Fur Day. The game? This is the N64? this is the story. Oh, okay. okay. There's a gentleman who's like, this is the comment he put. He's been looking for Bad Fur Day, I guess, complete in box for six years. Mm -hmm. He's been retro gaming for six years, and he finally came across it online. Oh, and he was wondering why it was like no, no. Bucks or listen, yeah, well, who cares about the price? He bought it, yeah, obviously online because he didn't find it in the wild. He said, and he got it home for a week, and then he posts this picture. See if I can find that picture. His dog oh. chewed up half the box of his Conquer. If you don't know Conquer's Bad Fur Day, it's a very expensive game right now in the retro video game community. And you can see here, it says dog shaming at its finest. He's very lucky the girlfriend got to him before I did. He won't dare even look at me. Look at the picture. The dog's scared of his owner because he chewed up the box. It's just First thing I have to say is, yeah. Whose fault is that, Lester? The dog or the, the owners? owners? Why? Because he just left the game like that. But you can't blame an animal. Because obviously, you know, an animal doesn't know better sometimes. But look at that box. It's half chewed up. <laughs> and the dog is so shit. I'm like, kudos. To Somebody made a, a picture of the dog. Like, they made a meme. And they put the thug life glasses oh, on. Oh, really? Like, yeah. Good for you. I, I, I can't blame an animal, man. Like, it's not, I've you had... know what? They Okay, I'm a dog owner. I Never had cats in my life. Cats. Yeah, they've wrecked stuff. But at the same time, like, as an owner, you should know what your dog or whatever you have is capable no. of. Because I remember, uh, what's called my back to you? There was a guy, a dog trainer on the TV I was watching. I think it was Caesar. Yeah. He says, if your dog pees in the house, you roll up a newspaper yeah, and, you... and they hit yourself in the head with it. Yeah. Because you should not have left the dog in a position to pee in the house. That was absolutely the owner's fault, in my opinion. But what really shocked me in this uh, story here, there's some comments that people left. Yeah. And, like, half the people wanted to, like... Kill the dog? Yeah. Why? Good. Well, it... <laughs> Hey, the game still works. The game's a game. Like, the game yeah. is still loose. Half-eaten box. And personally, it's the owner's fault. Yeah. A, he should have put the game on a higher shelf or something. Exactly. I don't know. You spent six years looking for this game, you're going to leave it on the floor. Yeah. You might as well have left it on the floor if the dog was able to get to it. B, we talked about it before, and this actually inspired a new segment in this uh, podcast. Remember how you said we wanted to talk about more, not just like, this is my shelf, but how do you preserve the game? How are you oh. saving the game? Like, how do you archive this game properly, right? Yeah. So, he could have put a, a box protector. A box protector. How yeah. much could have that protect, protected this game, you know? Yeah, it probably had like a, a dent or two, but not ripped. You yeah. can't even salvage that box. <laughs> You know what really drove the price up of that game was, eh? It's this bandwagon newbie market, I think. Why is that game so expensive? Let me know in the comments below. Obviously, people are going to say, because of uh, the demand for it. Because it's a, it's a game made by Rare, and it has swears in it. Like, yeah. who cares? <laughs> is, is that the criteria for a Rare expensive I, game I guess in today's so. market? I don't know. I'm going to admit, though, when that came out, I had a PlayStation. But, obviously, the people we grew up with had N64 as well. But you didn't really hear that from our circles. Like, they would say, oh, play Bad for Fate. Now it was more like, oh, why don't we play WCW? And I've never been an animal either. I'd be like, man, what the hell? So, I have some comments here. I'll read out two of them that are commending the dog. Because okay, th these two were, like, <laughs> overshadowed by everyone else who hated the dog. <laughs> like, this is the owner's fault. You should get mad at the owner. Anyways, this guy says, where do you see a quality box game? All I see there is shit N64 game. <laughs> Doggo should be commended for his deed. Absolutely there. Good dog. Game's overrated. Yeah, exactly. This one guy's like, you mean overpriced, not overrated. I'm like, that's smart, okay? I've never heard of any praise of this game being the best, just being expensive. Yeah. And the guy's like, my apologies, both. <laughs> the game is overrated. People think it's amazing because of the price. Yeah. Like, oh, this is one of the best games on N64 because it's expensive. Makes sense to me. Not. That's a another segment that's going to be 
inspired by this one specific story, the bandwagon trail. Talk about like, here, I'll show a meme of it here on the screen. Bandwagoners. Do you believe there are bandwagoners in terms of uh, retro video game collecting? Yes. Here, here's the meme. Bandwagon <laughs> retro gamer starter kit. <laughs> a retro gamer t-shirt. So corny. It's Earthbound, which yeah. is another game. The Game Chasers is obviously... Because they're very commercial, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it appeal it's trying to appeal to a mainstream I don't know market. If I, should, I really don't care anymore. I've never liked Don't don't, even, <laughs> don't, don't explain yourself, yeah. Lester. I don't watch, watch it. it. I, I don't watch it. I don't. Like it doesn't appeal to me. Like you know, I saw a couple episodes, like, cool, I get what they do, but me personally, eh. It's not your cup of tea. No, exactly. I'd rather watch, you know, Casey the Game Nerd or something or Homie. Collect uh what, what, uh, yeah, CJR, right? I like CJR, actually. Yeah. You know, he's that Canadian charm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little Samson on this meme, I will disagree with. Not because, you know, I, I think it is very expensive, that game, and people pay a pretty penny for it, but it's actually a really good game. Little Samson, you ever I've played never it? played it. It's like Mega Man clone with different powers, and you can switch in different stages and such. It's a really good game. I don't think it's worth the $900 price tag, but if I saw <laughs> it, I would buy it. Yeah. This game, when I first started retro collecting, was in the 300s. Not even. And that was pretty high for me back then, right? Yeah. And this was... I was already maybe four years into collecting, and the internet started getting very popular. Ooh, Little Samson's 300 bucks. <laughs> $900 of people are asking for the game. Loose. Locally, some guy put a $1,000 price tag on this game. Like, can you... And we don't know if it's real or fake. It could be oh a repro. God. People are getting really smart. That's why I don't even bother with, like, yeah, those exactly. games anymore. I'm so afraid of getting, like, a fake game. Reproductions... That aren't labels as such should be burnt. That's just my opinion. Anyways, final thoughts on the dog. Good for you. Don't dog. yeah, good for the dog. Don't hit your animal, man. Like okay, you this guy who like got really mad at his dog if their house burns and the guy faints. The dog's not gonna save him because the dog's gonna remember. Oh, this guy was mean to me. I'll just leave him burning in the <laughs> to house. To be in all fairness, <laughs> like, yep. in all fairness, this like, this is a really a troll heavy page. Yeah. So he could have been just joking around. Yeah. And he, you know, we don't know the circumstances. Maybe he didn't get mad at his dog. But like, if I if that happened to me and my dog ate my game, I'd be like, fuck me. Yeah, exactly. You know. <laughs> My fault for that. But like I said, new segment on the Retro Gaming's Most Dangerous Podcast. Archiving. We're going to have talk about ways people are archiving games. ROM dumping really rare cartridges. That's a, that's a new story from Pat the NES Punk. Yeah. On the, you know what game that is? I forgot. I haven't